Hey, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do something very specific, as opposed to our normal, usual, general vague techniques. And we're going to make a blue butterfly out of a white cookie. It's going to be pretty cool, I hope. Um, if there's any strange background noises or interruptions, um, please forgive me. I'm working at home. Kid at home. She's awake. And so, you know. You don't always get to choose the condition in which you work. <laughs> so, we're just going to move right along. I've got my white butterfly iced just plain. I'm not even sure if it's completely dry. Actually, it probably isn't completely dry. Which is fine, because we can just continue on. And I'm going to be doing a little airbrushing today. And I'm probably not going to go too much into the details of how to airbrush. I'll do another video on that later. Um, we're just going to focus on making the butterfly. So. I'm going to start out, I'm using a Pegasus airbrush machine, um, I'll put a link as to where you can get one, I like it pretty good, it works pretty well, it's small, um, yeah, and you can get one at karenscookies.net. Anyway, I'm going to put a tiny little bit of sky blue, you have to use, this is a mirror mist, you have to use, um, you guys can't use the uh, normal Maricolor gels in this because it will clog up. It's not a good idea. But Maricolor does make uh, airbrush color. So, sky blue. A mirror mist. And be careful. You will end up with fingers like this because it gets everywhere. You know, unless you're a pro. I'm not a pro at airbrushing, so I just wing it. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start out with a very light dusting. Turn on the machine. You can hear some noise. Very light. Dusting. A little bit of pale, pale blue. Then, alright, now we're going to give a little shading. So we're going to go in on the inside, and I don't really want too much going on on the cookie. A little dusting is fine. So I'm going to take this is the tip of a uh, pastry bag. It has not been clipped, it's just the normal tip. I'm going to go in the middle, switch my mode to low here. I'm going a little closer, very softly and very gently, put a little bit of central shading on, and yeah, I know the top's got a little bit, it's getting a little bit of color on the actual cookie itself, and you can, you can use another pastry bag and mark that one off too, but I'm not going to. We got a little interior shading there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have to clean out your airbrush gun because you're about to use a darker blue. Actually, you probably don't need to because it's just another blue. But we're going to do it anyway. And then you put a little royal blue, just a couple drops. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here and make sure you got it. You always want to start kind of off the paper so you make sure you don't have any clogs. I'm going to come in on the edge. Again, very close, very lightly. You guys, I am not an airbrushing pro. Never claimed to be. I wing it. So. I mean, I'm just kind of learning this along with everybody else. I know there's people out there that are probably like, that's not what you do with it. But, you know, wing it. Anyway, there you go. So there's your basic shading. And you're going to let it dry for a second. Just a second, because we're going to go back in over it and paint it. Okay, we're going to move on to the second part. We're going to do a little painting. Painting on a cookie. It's fun. Uh, and we're going to start out with, I've got, this is, well, I guess we should start with the brush. This is Royal Majestic number 2. It's just a round tip, fine tip brush, you know. Um, you don't have to get this brand, of course. But, you know, just fine tip. And this is a little electric blue, Maricola electric blue. This is a Maricola super black. And this is um, bright white Maricola. And here's a number 2 tip. I know, we're going to use it. And this is a blackberry vodka. <laughs> Not that the flavor matters, but I like the smell of it. So, um, and it's what I had on hand. 
Uh, why vodka? Well, you don't have to use vodka. You could use um, you could use any kind of extract, anything alcohol-based. It helps the colors dry faster, keeps them from getting all goopy. So, just sip a brush, just a little bit, and we're gonna start by making some. Move that out of the way so I have a place for my hand. Dip, kind of wipe it. My I start in the middle. And then very, very lightly touch down. Look. This should be pretty on flowers too. To paint the inside of the flower and to airbrush it actually. I'm going to start from the middle. This is supposed to make up for the definition of the wings here that are lacking a bit. I'll turn around so I can get a better angle. I think I'm just going to do one side of the cookie at a time because otherwise it'll just take a really long time. You'll be sitting here watching me paint forever. I'm sure that's what you all want to do. Now when you're painting over the airbrushing, be careful because um, you could have a tendency to, uh, when you get the airbrushing wet, it has a tendency to drag it a bit. And you don't want to um, <clears throat> mess up what you've already done here. I'm going to go in with some black. I'm going on the edge. Sorry my voice is all craggly, you guys. It's getting over a cold. My whole family is. I don't know what it is. Something's going on. Something's going around. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my number two tip. And I'm going to, well, I guess dip it in some water first. You don't have to. Mm, you probably don't have to. Anyway, not water, vodka. Anyway, tip down. I'm just going to, whoopsie, wasn't quite dry. Alright, so maybe for this day you won't want your cookie to be completely dry. I'm going to make it work. It's a little bit of dotting. When it's completely dry, you should just be able to dot on down like it's, you know, party time. Anyway, there's that. Let's see where we, um... And then you continue and do the other side, and then we'll finish her off. Okay, I'm gonna get both sides point, both sides painted now. I'm going to go in with this is just black, armed with the number two piping consistency icing. I'm gonna tilt this a little bit so I can get a good angle. And you're gonna go in and pipe a body. There's your azure, azure blue butterfly that we made out of a white cookie. So, there you go. I hope you found this um, fun, because I thought it was pretty fun. And it's pretty quick. So, there you go. Airbrushing and hand painting. A new way to decorate a cookie. Well, it's not new, but <clears throat> nothing I've shown you before, I guess. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to go and... Um, feed my kid lunch now and, and try and get her down for nap. I hope everyone has a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.